Dior Sauvage and Herba Pura had a baby. And that fragrance is Ibiza from Ramon Manigal. Stay tuned for my full review of this interesting fragrance. Welcome back everybody and this is Joel the Nose changing up my background a little bit going back to showing some of my paintings and I kind of like the vibe that it gives um, also got a new mic set up so let me know what you guys think about the sound the video I've upgraded the video quality um, you know I know some of those <laughs> some people have had issues with that in the past but anyways hope hopefully uh, you guys like this setup anyways always trying to mix things up change it make it a little bit better Today, I'm doing a full review of Ibiza. Let me show you. This is Ibiza, and it's also called La Isla. I guess it's La Isla Blanca, which means the white island. This is the sample, as you can see there, um, the sample card that it comes in. And this is one that I've been smelling a few times at Osme Perfumery in Miami. I've had the sample a little while, had worn it a few times and decided, okay, time to do a review because it's rather popular. Uh, one of the more popular Ramon Manigals. This is, again, Ibiza by Ramon Manigal. It came out in 2018. So, you know, it's a little about two years old at this point, a little over two years old. But again, it's one of the more popular ones. And I, I wanted to kind of figure out why that was. And I, and I think I, I think I did. If you saw my intro, basically this is to me is like a combination of a Dior Sauvage type designer fragrance with a more niche fragrance like Herba Pura from Serzhoff. Again, picture if those two had a baby, this is what would come out. Okay. This is the little decant here. Um, and let me just kind of spray it here for you so you can get a good I want to make sure I spray it. These decants are so hard. Okay, to see. All right, here we go. Let me, all right. So it's really, I got to say, I really like the initial punch. Um, it's very fruity at the top. And this is where, to me, the Herba Pura uh, or any other type of fruity fragrance comes in but it's also very out of Hittic. So real quickly, not to bore you with the notes, but at the top you have aldehydes, anise, and ginger. At, at the heart you have almond, heliotrope, jasmine, and at the base you have white musk, tonka, and patchouli. So very interesting combination. You don't see that a lot in the fragrance world, uh, those type of combinations. So that's another thing that attracted this to me. If you like different combinations, this one is a little bit more exotic. And I guess that ode is an ode to the island of Ibiza, right? So this fragrance was inspired by Ibiza. If you look at what they read or what they write here, it says, uh, "What fascinates me most about the island is this incredible light, the purity of its transparent waters, and an omnipresent white color, which urges you like a black canvas to create the most, uh, the most during composition." Hmm. White musk immersed in salt water wrapped in Mediterranean pine balsam in the presence of a sea of white almond flowers. And it says luxurious, salty purity, transparent freshness, free spirit, totally white Ibiza. That's how they describe it, you know, with their own description. So, you know, sometimes the descriptions uh, do a good job. I think this one is pretty good. I think that they they did achieve what they were going for here. If you look at this, this is a very salty sea marine fragrance. That's why I kind of combine it to Dior, Dior Sauvage. If you like Sauvage, but you want something a little bit different with a little bit of a more of a fruity vibe, this would be one for you to try out. And also, let me know in your comments, have you tried this one? Have you tried, do you like other Ramon Manigals? I, I really do like this house. They are from Spain. Uh, thus, again, Ibiza is a Spanish, obviously very famous island, uh, party island. Uh, but if let me know, have you tried uh, Ibiza? Let me know what you think. Let me know, you know how you would compare it. But when, let me just... <sighs> So 
canal that started to dry down, even after a couple of minutes on the skin, it becomes very aldehydic to me. The aldehydes kind of overpower and has this very much this marine ozone scent. Ozonic is one of those kind of synthetic materials that that is are used in a lot of fragrances going for that marine scent. And so you definitely had this kind of marine sea. So clearly, the, look, it's Ibiza. You read the description or you heard me read the description there. They clearly are going for that uh, effect. Uh, to me, again, though, it's a little bit over the top. And... and that's one of the reasons I don't love Dior Sauvage because I think, again, it's a little bit too salty. This is very salty. Um, I was thinking about this, that it's so salty. I think I'm, I think that I could be diagnosed with hypertension after spraying this on. So if, if any of you out there have high blood pressure or hypertension, you may not want to wear this one because it is salty. It's like an over salted steak. Um, I think they could dial it back a little bit. Now, this is again on my skin. It's how it interacts, interacts on my skin. Maybe it's not interacting so salty on your skin, but that initial top note is very salty, very marine, a lot of aldehydes. Um, it's uh, Again, it overpowers almost everything else in the fragrance at the top. Uh, it's a little bit synthetic type smell, a little bit of a metallic type smell. Again, if these are all descriptions I'm giving to you that you like, you're going to like this one. Um, it reminds me a little bit of the smell of Raid. Um, hold on a second here. I'm going to go get a bottle of Raid. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, have you ever smelled Raid, <laughs> Ant, and Roach Killer? They even say on here, you know lemon scent and it's true <laughs> uh it actually smells pretty good so i'm not saying that's a bad smell that's just kind of what it reminds me of uh it's that kind of you know metallic salty it's definitely got that kind of fresh vibe to it and um so if you like all those smells and i know it may sound weird because i do like the smell of this uh it is something you should try now as it dries down, it took about three to four hours until I got into the mid-note range and then the jasmine became more prevalent on my skin over the saltiness. And that's where I really started to enjoy this fragrance is really the dry down. The top, again, just too salty, too marine, too typical Dior Sauvage for me. The fruitiness, the Herbapura kind of vibe was there at the very beginning then it kind of went away. Uh, but I... It is definitely more fruity than a Dior Sauvage or any in that line. Again, the dry down after about three or four hours, it goes into that kind of jasmine, less salty. Definitely enjoyed it better as the dry down went down. And then further after about five hours, it goes into that musk. Musk is a very sexy, very sexy. Uh, and so is patchouli for me. I like patchouli and musk. Uh, but it, it, it wasn't, a, they weren't really strong. So, it's more of a skin scent after about four or five hours. Lasted about eight hours on my skin, so it wasn't super beast mode. This is one of the, their more least expensive fragrances for Ramon Monegal. This is a definitely a high-end niche fragrance. For a 100 ml bottle, it's about $200 retail. So again, if you want to try this house and you do like kind of fresh, more designer fragrances, you probably will like this one. For my nose, this is not typically what I like. I would not purchase this i would definitely wear it i will wear this decant i will um you know again if i'm in the specific mood maybe i'm going to the beach i do live here in miami if i'm going to the beach or i'm going outside you know in the sun something i i would wear this is definitely more of a summer spring fragrance i would say clearly it's again Inspired by the island of Ibiza, inspired by water, the beach, the sun, the sand, the salt. So anyways, uh, there you have it. That's my full review of Ibiza La Isla Blanca from Ramon Manigal. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know, let me know again in, your co in the comments, please, if you've smelled this or you're going to smell it or, you know, what you think. Love to hear your comments. It always is so much fun to, to to chat with you guys. So if you have not subscribed already, I would humbly request that you guys consider subscribing to my channel because of course that helps me 
get the channel growing and, and keeps me motivated to do more content for you guys. You can also like the video if you liked it and ring the bell for notifications so that you know when I produce new content. This is Joel the Nose. I will be back soon with another video. Hope you all are doing well. Bye.